Hello everyone. Welcome back to the art wagon. I'm super excited today to show you the art snacks. Um, I just got it today and um, it's for July um, 2021 and I'm hoping that it is better than last month. I wasn't too enthused with last month. I didn't know what to do with it. Like I can use them with other things that I have but I'd like to um, use the products in the box on one project but it was kind of impossible well not really impossible but I don't know it shouldn't be that hard <laughs> well let's open this one up and see what's inside I get so excited with whatever box I get though so all right so I'm not affiliated with art snacks I got this as a present so I get it each month so here is the little bundle comes with a little sticker on it Nicely sealed. Okay. And looks like our snack today is double bubble. My son will love that. And then you get a little card that says what you have in the box. It has a cute little um, joke here. What do you call a, a drawing of a clown? And then the back should answer says, a comedy sketch ha 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 okay so let's take a look oh what's this oh it's washi tape awesome the little pretzels cool so you can put that down to hold your stuff down and then it doesn't stick permanently or in your um, journals that'll be fun I can use that a lot for when I do paints painting and stuff and hold my paper down Okay, so let's put the little box to the side and open this sucker up. I guess I could have just tore that open. Now, let's see what's inside. Oh, okay. Looks like things I can actually maybe use to do something with. Okay, so we have a cute sticker. Okay, I like that because I'm into pink. Yep. Awesome. Cute sticker. Then we have a, let's see, I got an art crown. Oh, I like these ones. Yeah, I have some of these marabou ones already. I have one in like a, a pumpkin color and like a terracotta color and a uh, mustard color. So this one will be awesome. Looks like it's white. Okay. Nice. I like these. These are like a pastel, like crown type um, guy. I'll show you guys later on a piece of paper. And then we've got a fine art graphite pencil in 160. Uh, create a color. Just a regular pencil. Looks like it's a, it's a 2H. And then... I can always use these. These are the uh, watercolor brushes that you can refill with either, you can put ink in these or you can put water. Um, and I've used it with paint actually. I mean, you can't use it with anything else if you put acrylic in it, but I have done that. Um, and it's come out pretty good. But let's see what the tip looks like. Ooh, nice. Everybody see that? It's a pretty good tip. Okay, try that out. So that must mean we've got some watercolor in here. You can use these guys with watercolors too. Like you can use it with water, so. Um, this guy right here is ooh, Rose of Ultramarine. I can barely see that. Um, that's a really pretty uh, burgundy color. And I guess we'll see what it looks like when we get it out but it is a watercolor so that'll be fun okay my mind is going right now because I'm trying to think of what I'm going to make with these items here I do like these though I will use these these were better than last time okay so and I really like this washi tape because I use a lot of this stuff actually hold things down okay so let's go through the prices here real quick so the um Ultra fine watercolor. Um, this guy right here 
is 942 it says retail I'm not quite sure I haven't googled it so if you guys know the price of it uh, let me know um, pencil oh no where are we at the crown the marabou um, crown they call it a crown but it's more like a pastel to me um, this guy right here runs for $3.99 and this uh, pencil here let's see graphite pencil 180 and I like the Derwent pencil so hopefully we'll see how this one goes and um, create a color fine art let's see we've got that one okay uh, the fluid art brush here this one runs for $5.80 I don't know I've gotten them cheaper though um, same type of the Davenport ones Jane Davenport ones you can get from Michaels for like two for eight or something like that so I don't know about 580 for one I don't know must be pretty darn good okay now um, so it it also says on the little here uh, the card here that you can go to this um, website here hashtag art snacks challenge um, if you do something with the box so yeah okay here we go let's see here let me grab some water clicker and always try to keep some stuff around just in case I get something with water color I do have water available all right let me sit my butt down and get my chair organized here and we'll check these out I'm gonna make sure I'm still on camera here Okay, mine is going, mine is going. What should I do? Well, I know it's not May, but we'll do a mermaid. How about that? Everybody likes mermaids. I think, anyway. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to mark where I'm at so I don't stray off of the camera. Oh, you know what? Hello! Let's use the washi tape. <laughs> well, that's kind of like what it's for, right? Hello. Hello, Michelle. Let's use that. Here I am doing the little mark thing, and I've got washi tape here. All right, let's get this little guy off of here. Please cooperate with me. That would be nice. So today, we went for a nice bike ride before it started raining. My son and I, and that was pretty nice. Oh, it's not individual. I thought they were like a little individual... Uh, pretzels. So I'm glad I did open that. It doesn't end anywhere, so you do have to cut it. Okay. I have washi tape that um, has like little... When it's usually like this, you think it's going to just be little tiny pieces. But I guess I don't really have to be all perfect here. We'll just rip it off. Keep our so this is just regular watercolor paper it's nothing fancy it's just a regular watercolor paper that I usually um, just draw doodle on or whatever um, to see how things are gonna work before I put it on real expensive paper so we will see what happens here because we're testing out stuff okay so I'm going to use my graphite pencil and I'm going to um, sketch a mermaid and then I'm going to color it with the items here so let me just get her face going here. Let's do a little round. Do a little oval here. Like so. And my cat is trying to get in. And I'm like, no, not right now. I'm trying to get in my door. Scratching away. Okay. Every time I do a video, it seems like somebody wants to come in. <laughs> somebody either wants to go out or wants to come in. It's like they know. It's very crazy. All right, so I hope everybody's doing well. This uh, pencil's doing pretty good on this paper so far, so it's not all scratchy. It's pretty nice. I like it. Um, okay. Let's see. Maybe I should have sketched something first before I opened the box, but I wasn't quite sure what colors I was going to get. I guess I could do an easy flower. Uh, a mermaid would be fun with watercolors. 
so yeah so we went for a bike ride today and that was awesome and um my son was so funny he, he found a grassy like hill that he wanted to go down and it was super steep and he was like mom i don't know and i was like go for it and like my age now you know i'm in my 40s and so i was like watching him i was like no i'm not doing that but i'll watch you do it <laughs> i used to be able to do that kind of thing back in the day back in the day so anyway um All right, we're going to make a little mermaid going down like so with her arm holding a shawl. Why not? It's been raining like cats and dogs here lately. It's the craziest thing ever. And uh but it's been cooling off the the air a lot, so that's a good thing cuz it's it was like super hot here for a while it was like crazy and with our altitude here in Colorado it's like what yeah it's not fun when it's like muggy and gross and then you have the altitude so I'm just gonna do a quick sketch here I don't know how perfect it's gonna be but just gonna do this quick sketch and she's gonna be holding this shell here like so okay actually I'm making her a little too big down here so okay to me gum is not a snack I don't know like the first the first one we got um was one of those sour like um, airhead things and just to me I don't know that's not um, airheads is not a snack to me like crackers or um, chips or something like that but not not candy I don't know I don't know They should, they should name it Art Candy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see. Where am I going with this? Maybe I should just draw in like a flower because this might take too long. This might take a little too long to do, but let's see. Maybe not. Let's see if we can get this to go the way we want it to go. And see her back in, we'll go right here. Okay. So anyway, so yeah, mermaid was fun. I really enjoyed that and now it's July and everybody's doing this like Christmas in July thing and I'm just like what in the world do I do and I don't know I think I might do a few things for Christmas in July but I'm not I'm not sure yet I'm not sure yet and I hope everybody can see what I'm doing I mean because graphite pencil doesn't really show up that well on camera I know um okay now that i have that going that way i can just start and let's see here I'm going to do that to there, and that to there, and so my husband just had knee surgery. Seems like when one thing happens, like everything happens, doesn't it? It seems like, like the craziest thing ever. 
like his knee just started hurting for absolutely no reason like he didn't like hurt it in any way shape or form and the doctor said that it was like something from an old like something that he done had done when he was younger and i was like oh my god that's crazy so okay so let's do a quick sketch of the mermaid and her belly is coming out like that and then we have her i just go around that way okay She's in the water, so her hair is not going to be perfect. I don't know about anybody's hair that's perfect, except for like the perfume models that just kind of come out of the water and they're like, hey guys, and it's like, nope. <laughs> I would, I always look like a wet dog when I come out of the water, if I go in the water. My hair's all nappy and gross. I'd love to come out of the water looking all like one of those supermodels. That would be awesome. But that's not reality. Okay. All right, I think I'm done with her for this sketch here. I think that's all we need to do is color her and see how she comes out with this. See what happens here. I don't like that hair that goes right there. And I don't like her stomach coming out that far. Let's see. There we go. Much better, much better. I like that. All right, her arms are coming out like that. And then I want her hand be up like this and then she's gonna have one finger out and one finger this way holding it like so and then the shell I want to come down more this way yeah so I'm liking this pencil this pencil is pretty cool let me know guys if you if you like um, me actually drawing something with the products doing something with the products or if you just want um, swatches done because I can just do swatches too I mean if you don't want to watch me draw something but um, I've noticed a lot of people who do unboxings of this type of thing um, a lot of them create something and I think that's kind of neat and I'm an artist so I don't mind creating something as long as you guys want to watch it I don't want to do something nobody wants to watch. Okay, so yeah, she is holding that like so. Okay. Okay. And Here, I'm gonna do there. Okay, and I think I want her tail to um, have a little bit of dimension in here. Like so, just give her a little, just a little bit of what's going on. All right. So yeah, what do you guys think about the art snacks? Do you guys like it? I know um, I got a comment last last time because it was my first opening of a box last month and I got a comment saying that everybody gets something different. But I'm wondering if everybody gets something different like product-wise or just color-wise. Let me know in the comments. Like this is like, I normally just do like coloring videos um, on how to color 
and usually my own art and um, so unboxings are new to me I enjoy doing them though they're fun I get so darn excited my husband said why don't you start doing videos of you opening them because you get so excited and I'm like okay and then he started getting me more then he got me this one so I was like all right cool <laughs> Okay, she's a little too skinny. We want to give her a little bit of a butt here. Let's give her a badonkadonk. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. She's got some pudding on her now. Okay, we're good. My mom's English, and she always says, like, if you, like, gain weight or something, she always says, <laughs> You gained some pudding. It's like, what? Is that even me? Gained some pudding. Okay. I don't know. This tail is like freaking me out. But that's okay. It's just a sketch. It's not going to be perfect. This is like too straight for me. All right. All right, there she is. Okay, and I think I'm gonna do just a little easy roundabout on here. And so we don't have very many colors to use. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to like all use different uh, saturations of the watercolor. I have a little board here that I always use. It's just a dry erase board. And let's take this top off of this guy. And this is that, um, what color is this again? Rose of Ultramarine um, Watercolor by Daniel Smith. Okay, this is really dark. Okay, so we're not going to have to use very much of it. A lot came out, though, when I opened it. It just kind of went ba -doom from all the pressure, I guess. All right, let's get this guy open. At least this didn't have any packaging around it, so that was easy. And let's dip her in some water that I have already. And this comes out more like a purple color. See that? I thought it was burgundy, but it's not. It's like a real pretty, like, violet. Ooh, okay, I like that. We can work with that. Okay, so we've got this violet. And then we've got a real, like without the water, it's really like a thick. Okay, so we can, we can, we can work with that. Okay, let me put my brush down here. And then I don't have time to fill up that brush, otherwise I would just fill it, but we'll just dip it. Let me get this guy open here. Okay. And it's white, so I'm just going to actually <gasps> what okay this is not white let me read this this is okay this kind of put a damper on the situation here add an exciting twist to your artwork work with malibu uh marabou mixed media art crown this buttery smooth wax based pastel stick is suitable for both wet and dry techniques Highly pigmented color can be easily blended and pops off the page when, when brushed with water. If the tip wears down, just rotate the retracted body to pr uh, produce more. This looks like clear. Maybe it's because it's on white. Okay, all right, that changes things a little bit, I think. Okay, let me add some water to it and see what happens. Hmm. So this one is wax-based. My other ones are not wax-based. They're more pastel. So it's a little different. My other ones are marabou also. So, All right, let's see. Let me add some water to it. With a little bit of that purpley, plum, rich violet color. Okay, so we get a pastel color. All right, that's fine. That looks cool. We can work with that. So we have two colors, basically. We have this white we're using white clear color and then we have this if I would have known that was going to come out that clear probably well I didn't know because this is an unboxing um it might look pretty cool on black paper or gray or tan tone 
All right, let's see what we can do with this. Let's start off with our lighter color here. And ooh, it's a pretty color. Very pretty. Usually when I use watercolors though, I um I go over it with um some um color pencils afterwards. So this won't be Roxy, please don't, Rox. And every time I'm on video, too, my, my dog always seems to want to bark. <laughs> but I love animals, so they are part of me. All right, I'm going to already need some more of that um, white marabou. It is really sheer, though. My goodness. I wish I had some tan paper right here. I don't at the moment. Gonna take a little bit more of that purpley color. I'm gonna mix it in there. I'm mixing it. And we'll just give her a little bit more darkness at the bottom. But yeah, I'll just go over this with um with some um, color pencil and it'll look really cool. I'm gonna give her some little dots, I think. Give her tail some texture with some little dots. Why not? There we go. Hmm. So basically I only have like one color to work with. So that's why these art snack ones are really hard to actually produce something on camera when they only really give you one real color like this. The last one I got like a blue, a, a gray blue, um, a weird forest green color of a fine liner and a really big black um, marker. It was weird. I was like, what am I supposed to do with this? But anyway. It's all good. We're going to do this. We can do this. Okay. All right. I'll go over this with some water. Okay, let's get some more of this. Let's darken her up a little bit here. Let's darken this up a bit here. I'm gonna go in and do the tail. Get some water. But yeah, this this really like it spreads really good. Like I said, this is just basic watercolor paper. And you don't have to use very much of this color. Because it is it has a lot of pigment to it. Alright. Kind of neat. Her, her tail kind of looks like one of those flowers. I forgot what they're called. Goodness me. What are they called? Those ones that look like a fan. They have a lot of these in Hawaii and Japan. Oh my goodness, what are they called? I used to live in Japan and Okinawa when I was younger. And they had the most beautiful flowers over there. They had this, these, um, there was like a fern like thing I remember when I was younger. And you would uh, touch them and then they would close back up. It's always like the craziest thing to me. Okay. It's coming along. Coming along, singing a song. 
so summer vacation is almost over for school my little guy's gonna be going back to school pretty soon here so that's gonna be interesting I wonder how it's gonna go this this year if they're gonna have to mask up or not don't know okay so yeah this is nice I like it I like this watercolor this watercolor pen nice I like it the water brush I should call it it's nice I like the tip it doesn't uh, it doesn't bend and it's not all like squishy or anything it stays pretty firm so that works pretty good and let's see if we can get let's see if we can do her hair real quick here I'm always told, Michelle, you're too controlled with your watercolor. You're too controlled. It's like, I think everybody, each his own, right? That's what art's all about. You make it your own. If everybody did it the same, it would be boring, right? Everybody has their own style, their own technique, and their own way of doing things. Speaking of art, if you guys are interested in checking my art out, um, it is under, I have an Etsy shop. It's under Michelle Kaler, K-A-H-L-E-R, and my first name is M-I-C-H-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Check out my shop. I've got some really cute new um, images, coloring images on there. My whole shop, some coloring pages, bundles, um, sets, and uh, singles. And coloring is so, it's such a stress relief, you guys. Like, if you haven't tried it, like a lot of people, like, when I tell them, they kind of make fun of me and they're like, oh, that's what you do? I'm like, why are you making fun of me? Like, seriously, have you tried it? Like, I hate when people just assume things and judge you, but it is an art. If you actually join the coloring groups and you see the magnificent colorings that people do, it's like it is it's like amazing what they do. What they can do with your art. It's just crazy. When I see what people can do, I'm like, oh my gosh, like you like made that look like I just I don't even know what to say half the time when they show me what they've done. Just like, well, that's more than what I expected it would ever look like. 